Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, we're live with you, Pedro. Let me just make sure everybody can hear you okay. So, just one second. Can you guys hear both Pedro and I all right now that we're uh, live? I can hear you. I'm just want to I want to make sure they can hear too. So hold on one sec. Okay, sounds good. They can hear us. Very good. You're live, Pedro. You're on TV. Okay. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> hi everybody. You know, you I think you already reviewed the the, the Vela Latina, yes? No, not yet. I'm going to do it uh right after the interview. <laughs> so because because I was preparing here Carvela, I get this distracted and I say, oh, I missed the review. Oh, uh, no, not yet. No, it's going to be after. So, hold on a sec. I'm actually going to adjust your, I'm going to adjust your volume real quick. Give me one moment. All right. All right. One sec. Okay. Can you, uh, Speak okay. up, Pedro. If okay. How's if that, everybody? Is that better? I have any customer here when I am preparing the five four two. So, <laughs> if the <laughs> five four two is there, if I'm any, there. yeah, if, if whoever is waiting on uh, Caravella number five forty two is in the room, that's who Pedro is working on right now. So, all right, they said. Uh, they said the volume is much better now, Pedro. So why don't we get started? Um, I'm just going to ask uh, just a couple questions. We're going to keep it pretty short and uh, and painless. I know you're busy, and it's you know 1:30 in the morning there. So uh, appreciate you coming on the show. We all no do. Problem, no problem. <laughs> so um, what I would like to do is if you could start off with maybe telling everybody a little bit about the history of the Caravella and you know where you came up with the idea for the Caravella um, and how everything kind of got started I think that would be okay. fantastic uh, why I decided to make okay at the time it was not a Caravella we, it wasn't nothing I want to buy or a precise or a GG the GG still because I like small things. And about two years ago, more or less, two years ago, um, all of the precise here in Europe were sold out, sold out, and also the Gigi. I, can, I could not find the Gigi stealth. So I said to me, I had the Galileo at, at that time, but I want a better one. So I decided to make one for me, and I pick a paper, a pencil, and try start to draw one for me. Um, it was only like that. After uh, I have my draw, I start to redraw again because I want to reduce the small has size the, the size as much as I can. I have uh, friends that are engineer and work in also in the same lab that I, I work and they can draw in Cora's draw and all of the uh, softwares. So I make a draw of the initial Caravella. And I went to several industry that uh, work metal and the high majority, I, I, me and Ingenier Emmanuel, you don't know him, it's, it was a master student of my lab uh, that I work with him, more or less I guide him, um, and we are, we are close friends now. And it was very difficult to find uh, a company that prepared one curve Finally, we get one. Uh, the, the price was absurd. But thank God, I always 
just have a, a nice life, a good, a good life, a good salary, I'm okay. So I decided, okay, I will have one for me. It will be usually expensive, but it, it will be mine. Uh, so I decided to make one. After, I do not remember the sequence, uh, right? But I spoke or I don't remember if I visit a Portuguese forum, vape forum, or I spoke with Valder before, I don't know. The important is I get in contact with Valter. I don't remember if, if it was through the forum or not. And I show him. But no, no, no. Before that, I post image of the draw in the forum, in the Portuguese forum. Uh, is Zona Vapor, I think. Is Zona Vapor. I don't know if they changed the name or not. Um, and everybody like it. Uh, everything okay. We. I decided to choose the boat, a boat. Why I choose a boat? Uh, from several years now, Portuguese is uh, in a deep crisis. Now it's worse, but even about two years ago, uh, it was already bad. So I decided to make a very good uh, mod for me and give the name of a boat, because we are very famous uh, because of uh, uh, 15th century uh, and uh, the discoveries of uh, Brazil and a lot of things. And I decided to make one and give uh, the name of Caravela. Why Caravela? Because it was uh, at that time um, a ship, a very innovative ship that could uh, go in the opposite direction in the same uh, in the opposite direction of the wind because of the shape of the, um, the sails so i decided to make uh, engrave of a caravel so i google it and i find a very nice draw of a beautiful portuguese boat and i say okay i already select i will speak to a friend that uh, know how to Transport, uh, transform image into vectors, and I will engrave this on my mod. <coughs> and I post the 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 image on the forum, on the Portuguese forum. And a much clever guy than I told me, Pedro, the boat is beautiful, but it's not a caravela. It's a now. <laughs> it's a bigger ship than a caravela. And so I decide to, okay, I will put this in hands of some, somebody who knows. Uh, my wife uh, also uh, is a professor in university and her, it's not boss, it's okay, a collaborator of her um, have a husband that's is an expert of on history and bo Portuguese boats, and he has a huge collection of all things. And so I speak with him and say, "Okay, find me a draw of a caravella, but a real caravella, because I already choose an all." And he go to the 18th century and, and 17th century books they only have draws and he copy one of the draws for me at that time the draw is almost the, the one that i engrave in the caravella now but it haven't have not the cross in the sails i had the cross in the sails after it was a uh, pirish it's uh, a friend of mine and also a Caravella tester, a Caravella owner, um, and he helps me in, in all the draws. Um, he's a, a very nice 
person and a good friend. And he put the crosses on the sails of the caravel. So finally, I have. Ah, but at the beginning, uh, the, the position of the caravella was not here. It was here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was here in do not have letters of caravella. I put no okay. And the. Uh, uh, and Walter, Walter told me to me, why don't you make more? And oh, nobody will buy it, it's very expensive. I'll buy it, uh, ask a quotation for 20. And uh, I get a quotation of 20, and I decide, no, first, uh, I don't remember well. No, first, I took the decision that I will make more then when I will make at least 20. But if I'm going to sell to Portuguese 20, I must make prototypes to test to uh, herd opinion of, of other people. So I make four or five uh, caravellas with some modifications and I give to testers. And Everything was okay. After that, I decided to make 20 for Portuguese, only for Portuguese, and I decided to sell it uh, at uh, production costs. But even that time, it was expensive to make 20. And I opened a Portuguese, uh, at least in, in that Portuguese forum, and everybody says, Peter, it's beautiful, but I cannot buy it. Okay. So, but I already give my words to the company that I want 20. And I will keep my words. So, I speak with Walter and Casolino. And he told me, put this in a UK vape or a, a American vape forum and it will be easy. So, uh, I went to SEF. First, it was too complicated for me, too many rules there. And, okay, but I make my registration, I enter, and I don't remember if, if it, I was on the yeah, SEF if I already decided to sell or not. Okay, at least I want to show it. And there was a topic there that show your mod. And I posted a, pic, a photo of my caravella. And, but at that time, no, at that time it was uh, uh, the unique one, my caravella, the only one, mm -hmm. even before the testers. Now I remember. I post there and someone asked me, uh, do you sell this? And I say, okay, I don't know if I will ever sell the Caravella, but the price, it will, be, it will be around 150 or something. I don't remember. And in the same day, I was expelled from SEF. <laughs> That's not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. and I, I tried to resist it, not uh, with Tico y Teco, but with Teco and Tico. <laughs> and after half an hour, they say, you are already expelled of this forum. Okay, I give up. <laughs> okay, so, so the reason that I put, after I put the, um, the Caravella in an English forum, I really do not, it, it was not Vapid, it was another one uh, before it. And I say, okay, I have 20. I didn't have 20, but I have give my word to the company uh, that I will. Uh, I want 20. And for me, I didn't want 20 mods. Uh, so, um, and in one night, the list was uh, completely full. And after that, it's everything goes so fast you cannot imagine. 
Yeah. Um, um, I don't have anything more. It's I don't remember more specifically. Oh, that's if we continue it's the talking, I remember more details. <laughs> but uh, Walter have a lot of details and emails and everything. I have very short memory. Oh, that's okay, Pedro. That, that was good enough. Thank you. I think it's it's kind of funny that you were banned from ECF, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do? And now I don't. You wouldn't have your own forum if that happened. If that didn't happen, yeah, maybe. So yeah. But um, hmm. let's see. I, I don't oh. blame them. They have yeah. rules, and and they they are very strict applying the rules. It's not the Portuguese way, but you are not Portuguese, you are American, so... Mm. Yeah. It, it was not a problem for me, no, no, no not at all. Yeah. I, try, I tried to find why they, they, why they discovered that I'm trying to connect again, because the first uh, registration I made here from my, ha my home, after I tried from the university, and they could find me now, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I have no idea. They're sneaky like that. Mm -hmm. But so, um, what? Uh, so I guess if you could tell us a little bit, maybe about what inspired the uh, the Vela Latina, that would be great. Okay. Okay. The Vela Latina. Uh, I only drink, and I try at least four or five the most uh, famous. Genesis. I tried the Hellfire, I tried the Deed, I tried the Zen, and I even asked to uh, uh, to Pires that I send him the Hellfire, he prepare it, and he is an expert making coils and, and meshes, and he will be directly involved in the development of uh, the Genesis. Um, and he he already make it was his prototype, not mine. Wait, wait. Okay, this is not mine. This is uh, from Pirish. This is a very small Genesis. To put in top of the caravel, okay. In this one, you can change the sleeves, the but we decide. Uh, I think that it needs some. Okay, this this one, the glass, it's like this. You can put uh, sleeves, uh, stainless steel, or but. I don't like Genesis so much. I prefer dripping. So I decide that I must make uh, a system that drip for me, especially when I am driving, because here in Portugal uh, we we drive a little bit more fast than they are in the United States. So. If you go in 120 or 130 miles per hour, dripping, it's not so safe. So I decided I will, I must make, uh, must made a system that can drip for me. And let me see if, if I have here my first prototype. I will pick. I think I have there. One second, sorry. Oh, no problem, Pedro. I think this might go a little bit long, guys. I hope you don't mind. I certainly don't.
Okay, this was my first prototype. I don't know. I don't see my image. I don't know why here. No, we can we can okay. see you just fine. What is this? This is. It was my first prototype. This is a tank. I don't remember the name. I I buy the more expensive one. Uh, but it leaks. Well, it leaks a lot. Okay. So what I I did to 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 try to find a system that could drip for me. Okay. The Vela it's a tank. Okay. And this is I pick let me see if I can remove okay. I, I, this is a carto tank. Uh, it was just to test uh, the proof of concept. And I pick a carto tank. I pick uh, a cartomizer. I will remove the internal part and I make a hole. Okay, I put here and with paper, still have paper. <laughs> okay, paper for juice insulating systems is very good, especially not standard paper but this in Portugal we call it vegetable paper uh, it's uh, I don't know it's like silk or something oh okay I'm not sure uh, what it is specifically but uh, but all paper okay this paper that I have here it's not this special paper uh, but paper is good, why? Because it absorbs the juice and seals. And you can change it uh, whenever you want. So, this was my first prototype and my idea was I must find a way to drip when I am driving. Uh, and I think, I think, uh, and one day I came with this idea uh, I don't know how to explain. This is not complicated, it's simple. Uh, so uh, it came this idea. I don't know. I cannot explain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this is not any brilliant idea. This is a simple idea. Uh, but it works, I think. I do too. Um, if everybody... Uh, I don't have any wish to tell the how to make a Vela Latina tank for everybody and with the ship uh, expensive. It will leak, but you can pick a counter tank, okay? Just, <coughs> okay, a carto tank, if you have one there, you remove all the internal parts of the um, counter tank, you make a hole, you put like, like this here, I have to to make hair channels here in the canto in the canto tank. You put like like here. You use paper to um, insulate juice when you put the 306, and you can try it. It's not difficult. <laughs> okay, this is this is was my first prototype uh, canto tank. Uh, really expensive. It cost me forty euros, but it leaks. I don't. Uh, yeah, it's I, amazing. I think it's a trap tank. Um, uh, uh, probably has a defect. Uh, not all. Oh, leaks. maybe. Yeah, that's all right. So. Um, I, th I think I will not. It was not. It was in a Europe shop that sold this. I think. Um, they sold me a Chinese version for the price of the um, original. Because uh -huh. Walter have uh, uh, this tank, I don't remember the name. Yeah, the trap tank, yeah. The trap tank. And it's another universe. The quality, the finishing, the finish, it's completely different. When yeah. I saw the, the his tank and I say, okay, they sold me a Chinese version uh, for the price of the original one. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, 
But for for the objective, I put glue tape here. I seal everything. This cannot be uh, separated anymore. But for the proof of concept, it was enough. Yeah. All right. Um, so what I'd like to do, Pedro, is um, just uh, for, take a few minutes and maybe uh, take a couple of questions from um, the chat from the you audience that's watching. So we actually had one question already. Um, Callie Jeff uh, was wondering, what is your favorite juice uh, flavor that you like to vape? Okay, I will show you. I make a mix. Okay. It's. Can I say the brand? Sure. Okay, it's from Allo. I think for me it's the, the best one. At least what I tried. But I, I don't try a lot. If I like one thing, I keep it and I don't change. I use a mix of uh, two thirds of Captain Jack and one third of True Pure, Pure and some drops of um, Crystal Mental. Oh, okay. Nice. And w what did you say the second one was called? True Pure? Yep. Okay, nice. There you go. Captain Jack, True Pure, and a little bit of menthol. That's Pedro's vape for you, guys. <laughs> uh, Blue Swatch wants to know how your daughter's test went. Uh, it was okay. I think so. I think it was okay. <laughs> good. It's uh... good to hear. I saw you post about that on the forum earlier yeah, today. Yeah, so. yeah. It's my reason to live. Um, and um, Capone's Pops was wondering if you could tell us a little bit. Now, I know that you are working on a Genesis. He was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the Genesis uh, device that you're working on. Okay. Uh, without giving away any secrets, of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... Secrets, okay, okay. Vela Latina, uh, I think it's a very simple system, but it's innovative. I think there is any other similar system to use a 306. But the Genesis is uh, uh, it's on, only a Genesis, and the devil is on details, nothing more. Mm -hmm. uh, who should get all the credit? It's the guy that invented the Genesis, uh, not all the others. But okay. Imagine that you have a Vela Latina, and after you have, with the same size of the of the glass, a top, a cap, and it will be exactly like this, but remove this metal ring and we'll have the, the sleeve to put the um, the drip tip uh, any details it will have uh, okay this is only my idea uh, after testers will decide final version but it will have at the beginning only one hole uh, three milli uh, uh, millimeters of diameter uh, the tank capacity it will be the same. The real tank capacity it will be the same as Vela Latina. It will be 2.5 mils. Uh, you can change the, um, the sleeves or the Pyrex between Vela and and the Genesis, and it will have some Teflon insulating. It will have uh, we will have stainless steel uh, brass contact. It's, I do not decide yet if I will keep the brass even center pole in brass. I will try to, to keep it, uh, I will, but I must test with several uh, Jews. I think it will be okay, but um, 
people will see sometimes the necessity to clean the breast center pin because he will become uh, uh, I don't remember the name in English but dark right. but it's still very conductive even with the dark okay and it will have Teflon insulation in the top cap to do not uh, heat so much internal nail part the insulation it will also made with Teflon uh, the um, O-rings it will be the same as Vela uh, um, wait I forgot the, the name of the O-rings that I have it's, 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 uh, I remember in, in so it's the top quality of O-rings the, the more chemically and uh, thermically stable it's not si silicon it's, it's Wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Viton, okay. Okay. Uh, have you can see? I do not have short memory. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> even in my professional life, I, I'm always making connection to memorize something. Uh, uh, this that's why I choose physics, be, because it requires less memory than other things. <laughs> <laughs> I That's could smart. not be a, a, a doctor uh, because I will forget where where, where is the stomach. <laughs> uh, um, let me see. I think we got time for maybe one or two more questions. So hold on a sec, Pedro. Um, so Naughty One Eighty Seven wants to know if or what you're going to do with the design after you complete number 999 or number 1000 Caravella. What what I'll do with the design, what I'll change first. I do not know. Okay. I I, I would like I am I'm trying to find companies here in Portugal that could do this work for me to make a very similar to Caravella with less three or four millimeters uh, but coated with um, black chromio. Black chromio it's a state-of-the-art coating okay it's it's using Lakers um, 5,000 euros photo camera so it's really 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 very good I understand wow. a little bit of coatings because I took my PhD in decorative coatings so uh, if I go to a coating I, I will assure that you will have top-notch quality okay uh, if I could not uh, find a company that make this coating for me um, I will make a 400 uh, 14500 and I will not uh, I will Caravellas I will only make 999 after that if I decide to make another mod for for sure it will have another Portuguese boat nice I <laughs> Um, let's see, one more question, I thought I saw one more question in there, maybe I didn't. But, but I, I want to say one thing. Oh, sure. Right. A, 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 everyone can design and build a mod. You need money for an initial investment, and then it's, it's ex expensive, 
But if you have money, you can design a, your own mod and make a mod. I think what makes Caravella a little bit special, it's the care that you give to the Caravella after the first prototype. Okay, you. The, the difference is the is in the number of parts that you give away because it do not uh, pass in the final test quality. It's 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 the quality that makes the difference. Not I, I like the Caravella obviously because I designed it for me. Uh, but to everybody that wants starts to make mods, go ahead. It's not so difficult to make a, a mod. But my advice is keep quality always very high uh, after the first prototype, after you selling, you must and you must spend a lot of time <laughs> checking quality or we have money to, to, to pay to a person that could check quality because the difference is in the number of quality checks that you give um, I think it's the difference because it's not so difficult to design a mod it's a battery too okay it's not so difficult right well i i mean I'm, i can speak for everybody here i think when i when i say that you can tell that you put a lot of effort into the quality of the finished product and product and making sure that uh you know you have very high standards so yes i think it's it's it's, it's that um, and one one last question, Pedro, before um, I uh, let you go, and then I'm going to start the uh, the review of the Velo Latina. So if you want to sign in to the the show, you can watch the the review. I, I, I'm I am seeing you in Vape on TV. Yeah. Oh, you're signed in already. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, I I I'm not signed in, but I open your your uh, site, and you are here. Okay, great. Yeah, you don't have to sign in if you don't want. Um, so the last question, uh, somebody asked if you could maybe give your opinion on the situation with what we in the U.S. we call it flipping, um, which is basically people selling caravellas for exorbitant amounts of money. Um, if you could, okay. you know, give, give us your thoughts on that. Okay, flipping, uh, it happens... With, with a lot of things that you can that there are more buyers than that things to sell. Right. Uh, I think there are so many people that really love a caravella, love to to have a caravella, and to see a caravella jumping. Uh, after one or two days and be sold for absurd money must be we must be realistic a caravella it's not worth 1000 euros this is reality no. uh, but flippers it's very difficult to fight this uh, it's for them they are only making money what I can speak about this. Uh, they are not stealing anything. They are not cheating anything. They are surrounding the rules. Uh, but I think um, for that reason, uh, I, I put some, I will put two or three every month uh, in auction and the difference, uh, I will get my fair money and the difference will go to charity because there are a lot of people with a huge amount of money. If they want, they can buy everything or almost that is material. Uh, and if this money could be used to help people that really need money and not make easy profits, I'm not against easy profits because I already uh, buy and sell stocks uh, very shortly. So, right. uh, uh, it's the question is that sometimes I receive emails, uh, people begging me for a caravella, and 
if you want to know, I do not feel comfortable about this because sometimes they are almost speaking to me if I was a daughter, a, a doctor that could uh, treat a disease that they have or something. This is a mod. It's I think it's a beautiful mod, but we must be realistic. It's a mod. It's not the life of any anyone. Uh, it's it's a mod. Only nine ninety ninety nine, but it's a mod. I, I cannot give so much happiness to people. Um, it's a mod. <laughs> I speak against me, but it's usual. No, uh, makes sense. I think it's great what you're doing. Uh, and, and, and as far as the auction goes. Um, that is uh, that's uh, that's going to be on the Caravella forum, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, Blue Swatch, if you could do me a favor, if you could post the Car the link to the Caravella forum in uh, in chat, that would be awesome, just so people can check that out. So, um, Pedro, I just want to thank you for uh, for your time. Sorry, we went a little longer than uh, than we mm. planned, but uh, I think everybody enjoyed uh, talking to you. So. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, we're actually going to do a giveaway real quick and then I'm going to do the Vela Latina review so if you want to hang okay. around and watch that that's great yeah, yeah. I will give, I will see the, the, the review obviously alright very good thank you so much Pedro and uh, we'll talk to you soon goodbye to everybody and I think people look at me in a very different way that I am I am a very simple guy if you meet me outside the Caravella world, you see that I'm a standard guy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. I think we all. I, I think uh, everybody getting to see you and hear what you have to say. Hopefully, they realize you're a uh, down-to-earth good guy. So. Um, all right. Thanks, Pedro. Appreciate your time. See you. I will see you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care. See you.